Welcome to this tutorial about the package Robotic Industrial Dynamic Arm for Unity 3D. First of all, we'll talk about the different scenes that you have in your project. If you go to scenes, you will see six different scenes. The first one, uh, if you hit play, you will see the following. You will be able to move the robotic arm uh, without any kind of physics by, by using uh, the sliders here. As you can see, there is no interaction with anything. If you want a robotic arm that interacts with the environment, you can go to the simple interaction physics scene. Here at the top, you have the control uh, key from your keyboard that you have to use in order to move it. So now you can see that the movement is more smooth and uh, you are able to uh, rotate the different degrees of freedom of the robot uh, using those uh, the, the script that we're going to see in just a second. You can also close and open the grips by using the, the X value. The robotic arm physics script, as you can see here, has different values. First of all, it has a torque value, which is going to be the torque that is applied uh, at the level of the joints, then the friction, the drag, and angular drag. These are values that are going to be applied to each of the, of the uh, different joints and uh, allow the different uh, movements in a smooth way, as you can see. Then you have to select the different parts uh, of the dynamic uh, robot arm which are the ones that are in the hierarchy of the of the game object, which are the part 0, part 1, part 2, part 3, and then the different grips. Let's go ahead and go to the advanced auto movement scene. In this scene, you will see that we have a script that is similar to the one that we saw before, but now we have a T peak, a Q1 peak, and this uh, different um, different patterns and transforms. Okay, so this is the information you have to introduce in order to make it uh, rotate in a different position. So, for example, if you hit play, you will see how the robotic arm goes ahead and picks up um, a box and is going to throw it in a different position. As you can see here, you have the different values that are being changed by the movement of the robotic arm. And those values are going to meet the values that are here. So we have the T-peak, the Q1 peak, and these values here are going to be really similar to the ones that are shown here on the top, which are the ones that are being calculated by the game at that moment. Let's go and talk a little bit about the screw robot. The screw robot, it's uh, a different variation of the original robot, but in this case, as you will see, if I'm able to uh, take this, okay, like this, you will see that if we hit uh, X, uh, we have a value for the, the screw that is going to rotate accordingly to the time uh, that we are pressing the, the button. So this should be screw. Okay, so that's uh, regarding the screw robot. Then we have multiple robots. Um, we have a, a robotic arm EQ which is going to be similar to the one that uh, was used in advanced auto movement. As you can see here, we have the peaks and the drops of the different rotations of the, of the robot. But uh, in order to make it work, we need also to introduce the same thing for the screw robot. So that is going to be uh, managed in the robotic arm screw I key. So if you hit play, you will see the following. Uh, first of all, a uh, game object is instantiated. 
then the screw robot is going to move as you can see here to this screw position then it's going to uh, leave the second robot that is going to be this robotic arm pick up the game object and throw it again so that is how we achieve automation uh, it's, it's thanks to the fact that we are able to um, determine the different positions that you want to achieve uh, when uh, time evolves. And finally, we have the multiple tool selection. In this case, we have a robot that is able to change the different tools. So if you hit one, you will have the grips that can be closed or open. If you hit two, you have the screw that's going to rotate. If you hit play, uh, if you hit three, sorry, uh, you have the um, the platform that is used to pick up larger objects. And if you hit four, you have the laser. The laser is going to uh, interact with different objects, as you can see here. Okay, and you can use it to cut objects or whatever you want. So let's do a quick demo of what uh, you can achieve with this interacting with the objects so if you hit uh, number three you are able to pick up a, an object like this or to push it if you want and if you hit one you can try to pick uh, the cube oh i failed let's see if i can pick the other one here Okay, you can see that I have picked the cube now. And you can move it and put it in the ground or you can leave it there in another position. So this is how the dynamic arm works for Unity 3D. I hope you like this package and consider downloading it. Remember that we uh, always try from Carver Bodies to implement the best packages for our customers. And we have a customer service that will allow you to improve our package if you want to modify certain aspects of it. Thanks very much for watching this video.